Ready? Okay. Here we go. Kevin, what are you doing right now? We was about to switch out a tube. We was about to switch out a tube of you here. <laughs> about to pop the back off of this thing. Pop in a new Electro Harmonics preamp tube. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's beautiful. No hissy fit. No schnickel frets. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a lot better. Switch it to the... It gives us somewhere to go. Right. Right? I agree. I'm in. Um, let's go ahead and try it again, Mark. I had a really cool opportunity to attend Oscillation Transia Film Festival. So this was just outside of Montgomery and in a little town called Spectre. And for those of you guys who don't know, Spectre is the town that was created for Tim Burton's Big Fish uh, with Ewan McGregor. Roses are red, violets are blue. I love Spectre. Now, I'm sorry, but, well, goodbye. You won't find a better place. I don't expect. And it was a really, really cool um, thing because the town of Spectre that's in Big Fish as a movie set is actually still there today. This is a movie that I used to watch all the time. I, it came out, I think, in 2003 or so, and it was a movie that I would watch over and over again. And then because I would watch it so much, it was so surreal actually being in the town there. I was invited um, to attend, and um, the way that they do everything is really unique. It's really cool. They raised funds. Uh, in order to travel the nation to uh, put on this traveling film festival. And each stop that they were at, they set up their screen and their speakers and everything, but everything that they did was run and built off of solar panels, clean energy. It was really, really cool to see the entire process. Now, Austin is one of the engineers, and he was the one that kind of designed how the trailer could capture energy so that they could use that as their power source to do the entire film festival. And what they did is that they chose, um, I think there was about 10, different films, um, short films, that all had to do with either nature or people or uh, the way that people are affected by the world or how people affect the world and all that kind of stuff. And it was really cool to see the dreams of Jess and Austin kind of come to fruition as they were kind of making their last rounds in the cities. So it was really a great experience. So I'm going to link these guys below for the Oscillation Transia Film Fest. You guys should definitely check them out, see what they're about. They're doing some really cool things and I can't wait for next year's. Oh,